Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for November 2022. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or the person that is on your mind. So if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. And if you are new and you enjoy the messages, I sure hope you will subscribe. Hit that like button and the notification bell so that you know when I upload other videos. And if you are interested in a personal reading, um, again, for those of you that are new, because if you've been with me, you know this, I am a psychic medium. I don't use tarot in my personal readings. The information to set one of those up is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you guys for November. All right, so what do we have for the overall energy? We have the Six of Wands in reverse. Now, that does not mean that things are not going to be successful. It just could, the mindset, the energy could feel like things are not moving in the direction that maybe you would hope. Doesn't mean the whole month is going to be a disappointment. It just feels like something may be a little bit delayed. Whatever rings true for you, when you first heard that, that's probably the area of your life that it may feel that way. Now, let's see what your current energy is. Now, see the Wheel of Fortune. So something is definitely in the works for you, meaning it's turning in your favor. So although you may still have an energetic feeling of things are not working out, this is Spirit's way of saying, but they actually are. So this is kind of that behind the scenes um things getting ready, the universe working on your side, turning things in the direction that you're hoping for. The King of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Ace of Wands. All right. So for some of you, this could be a person that seems like they're a little bit disconnected. So let's say you've recently gotten into a relationship or this is a person that's a part of your life and you feel like they're a little bit disconnected. I think things are going to shift. So if you've been feeling this is really going on um, in a very specific, um, let me spit this out. This is going in a very specific direction. Doesn't mean that that's the only thing this reading is going to be about, but it does look like there's a feeling of something's not working out with someone, but Spirit's trying to tell you here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands that even if that person seems like they're withdrawn just a little bit, things will eventually work out and you're going to see how this happens over the course of the month is what it feels like. Bear with me one second. The energy is all over the place, this Mars energy. I'm sure some of you are feeling quite a bit of it. So if this is a work situation, again, same exact scenario, it is actually going to be good. The Ace of Wands says there's gonna be a new feeling around it. Like, I feel like you're gonna get fired up. So if you have a boss that seems like they don't show you a response, doesn't have to be a boss necessarily. It could be that you work for yourself and maybe you've dealt with a client that seems disengaged. Whatever the scenario is, the Ace of Wands tells you that there's going to be a new beginning, a new way to start things, a new shift in the energy, and it's going to work out in your favor. All right. So in the near future, we've got the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups. I think this is more based on the fear that there's either too much competition in what you do or you feel like there's some kind of a, a fighting that you've a battle that you've been going through to get what you want or desire. And the Ten of Cups in reverse can say you feel like you've been fighting, you know, a little bit of unhappiness or there's been things that have been a little frustrating, which makes sense. But you are going to overcome them with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to be a, an equal give and take. There's just something about this energy that needed to shift. Something had to be worked through. Now let's see what you don't see coming. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Cups in reverse and then the Six of Cups. Wherever there's been dismay, wherever there's been a disagreement where you thought things weren't going to be able to move forward or somebody had not been investing in something, partner at work, partner in relationship, whichever scenario it is for you, it seems as though I don't feel this is your energy. I feel it's theirs. Somebody's going to apologize. It may not come in the exact words of, I am sorry, but it feels like there's going to be a peace offering of some sort. 
so that you can work through it. If you feel like you've just been giving so much of yourself, I think the person's going to recognize or at least acknowledge the fact that you've been trying really hard and maybe they've been a little disconnected here with the King of Wands in reverse and that they want to make more effort. The Page of Pentacles in reverse just says that they're not quite sure how to approach the situation, but I do believe that they will. Obviously, they're clear that something that's not going right has made you unhappy and you felt like this has been an ongoing battle. Whether they're acknowledging that or not, I feel like that's how you feel. And it's going to be important for them to let you know that they want to work things through. They want to make this better. They want to do something to get things on the right track. So what does Spirit want you to focus on for the month? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Ace of Swords, getting very clear about what's going to create stability for you in your life. So if something has thrown you off, um, I, I don't want to use examples because it can clearly be so different for each one of you. Anything that creates a sense of instability. Spirit saying, focus on the information that's coming into you. Focus on the clarity that you're getting this month and see it for what it is. Definitely do not look past the signs that are being given to you. So if you're feeling for some reason like you can't get the clarity, you're going to get it this month. It's very clearly going to come through for you. And if you've questioned, hmm, is this going to create this type of scenario for me? Am I going to feel unstable at all times? Then you're going to get what you need, meaning the apology from someone. Someone's going to try to make it better because they don't obviously want you to feel this way. Or there's some spiritual work going on where they're trying to come in and reassure you that it's not always going to be this way. So something's going to shift. So just focus on the answers that you are getting. And then the King of Pentacles. So there's definitely uh, something going on with both of you being in reverse. To me, this is two separate energies. So if it's just felt off balance, see what this person has to say. Maybe the two of you need to get into a deep conversation about how you can make it right, where it, there could be fights about money in a partnership, could be fights with a boss about money as well. Because if you don't feel like it is enough for you and you need to work through that or they need to give you a raise or you need to move on because it's not creating stability that you had expected, then that's the clarity that you're going to get. And Spirit's like, don't ignore this. This is an important message for you. It could be around standing up for yourself. And saying, I've worked really hard. I deserve this. Here in the current energy, you're going to get fired up. So where you may have held back and not spoken your truth, you're going to this month. So let's see what your challenge may be. The two of swords. So making a decision at times can be challenging about what to do. And also, um, I want to say taking that first step. So sometimes the initiation process may be difficult for you. How to approach a situation may be difficult, and that may be the challenge for you. And also, with the Ten of Pentacles being part of that challenge, it's making a decision that's going to work out best for you as far as your finances are concerned. Um, how to make it better, because this is all about abundance, and also your belief system around something being abundant. Now, for those of you in a pair where this is a question, will you ultimately end up doing well financially together? Yes. Are there going to be ups and downs and questions about how you do that? Sure, that's normal in a relationship. But I think your your biggest challenge is believing that it can happen. And the same goes with a work situation. If you believe that you can make it work or that you can do better, um, for some of you it may be taking the initiative to go somewhere else because you just don't feel like you're being paid enough. So for a lot of you, it's going to be around your finances for the month of December. All right, let's get some clarification. All right, so with the Six of Wands in reverse, we have the Ace of Swords again. So there is a double confirmation that you're going to get the clarity that you need around whichever situation resonates for you. And then the Ten of Swords. So whatever you had already completed, whatever you were done with, to me, this feels like a lesson that you just don't want to repeat. Again, you've gotten the clarity that you need and you're going to have it. The Two of Wands. So you're going to be able to focus more on the future. 
to where you have felt unsuccessful in, let's say, a past situation. Maybe you couldn't work things out with a previous partner, but in this situation, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to work through the things that maybe you weren't capable of working through before in a partnership around your finances. As far as the work situation, same thing. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel in this month. So it's going to reveal to you what you need to know and what the next steps are. So do you go to your boss? Do you ask for that raise? Or do you need to move on because you want to create more stability? If this is creating a sense of, I just have nowhere to go and I don't like the way it feels anymore. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands in reverse, we've got the Ten of Wands. You're going to be putting down... Uh, a tremendous burden this month. So where things haven't been successful, you're going to see that shift and they're going to become clearly more successful. So there's going to be kind of a breakthrough moment, if you will. The King of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Wands, that's the Ten of Pentacles is now showing up in the current energy in reverse, where in the upright, it's your challenge. So really they mean the same thing when it's in reverse there and it's in the upright here. The challenge is around the financial situation. So there's going to be a new passion and a new drive around making things work with your money this month. The five of wands with the 10 of cups in reverse, the sun. So it's saying this fight is over for you. The unhappiness that you've been experiencing around this situation is going to shift. The sun is obviously a beautiful card to get, especially in this position. Because it's saying things are going to surprise you and you're going to be really happy about the outcome. Ten of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. The Lovers in Reverse. Where maybe you had problems in the past with partnerships where things were uneven. This person wants to balance things out. They want to make sure that, again, you don't repeat the same situation. So maybe they're aware that you had problems in the past of overgiving. Maybe you were the one who was the primary um breadwinner and you felt like you always had to take care of everything and now your person's like no 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 I really want to help something's going to happen and we're going to balance this out because I know you've had problems in the past in other situations where that wasn't the case so the page of pentacles with the two of cups we have the empress in reverse so th this is what you don't see coming is this sense of wanting to work things out or an apology because clearly something has thrown you off or made you feel like somebody just doesn't see your value, your worth. Um, they don't seem to take the initiative or um, show you in any way that they are invested. And I think that's what they're going to tell you is yes, that they are. You just don't see this coming yet. The two of cups with the six of cups, the magician. This is you manifesting exactly what you want from the situation. So know that that's what you're doing. You're putting a lot of power into this. And what you don't see coming is what you've been manifesting all this time is about to show up. So if it's resolution in your partnership, resolution in a work situation, it's coming. Wherever you've been feeling not quite fulfilled and not feeling fully like yourself, that's about to shift. And I feel like you've put a lot of attention and energy into making this change. And Spirit's like, yeah, it's coming. So just be aware of that. Now, what you need to focus on, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Swords, Three of Swords. This is super important. Where you've been hurt in the past, it is important to try to heal and or recognize that this is not the same situation. This is not someone who is similar to someone you've dealt with in the past. They don't want to hurt you the same. They don't want to create the same type of instability. Even though it comes across as being that way, I feel like perception is everything and Spirit wants you to focus on remembering you've already healed or left that behind. And you're going to get clear that this is not the same situation as what you've dealt with before. And then we have the Six of Swords in the upright. Great. So clearly you're going to be in a much better state mentally. Meaning where the Six of Wands is saying uh, you were losing passion or maybe you didn't have any hope anymore. This is Spirit's way of saying focus on what you want to create moving forward and get with this clarity that you're going to get, just go ahead and move forward with that. You're going to know exactly um, what the the purpose of all this was. And now you're going to get to the other side of whatever the issue is. Let's see with your challenge. Good. Nine of Swords in reverse. It's going to be hard for you to believe that you can actually rest and relax. That everything is going to work out exactly the way that it's supposed to. You have the Wheel of Fortune. The Sun card. 
everything going on this in this reading is telling you that things are going to shift and change. So this is going to be a really, really good month. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clear this, and we will look at you and your person. It could be a little bit different than what I picked up on here in the main reading. Just remember that. But we'll see what we pick up on. All right. So the Six of Wands was the overall, and it's going to stay in that place. It's just a question of belief. That's really all it is. Can you believe that things are going to work out, even after a long period of time of feeling like maybe they weren't? Or fear that they weren't going to? Let's see. What's going on with you and your person? Okay, so your person's energy, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I'll tell you, the first thing I heard was they don't want anything else other than you. There's that Six of Wands showing up to say, in your person's energy... I think they don't have any question. There's no confusion about what they want. They don't want anybody else but you. But they feel defeated too. The chariot, they want to move forward. So you could be dealing with Leo Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer is significant. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. They want to move forward. They don't want anybody else. They want you. They just want this to work out and they're feeling a little bit defeated. So they want to move forward. Your energy is the death card in reverse with the fool. So I think you want to take a chance too. And the 10 of pentacles, because you see the same quality. You see the, the connection, you see what the possibilities are. You know that this can be successful and it's just a matter of getting over this hump. So this is definitely coinciding with the regular reading. Um, King of swords, you've got clarity. Uh, I don't think you're going to mince words. I think you speak your mind. And if you stay this way and you take a chance with this situation, you're going to recognize this person has good intentions. They want to move forward. They don't want this to not work. I can see how you think that this is going to be a successful situation and I wouldn't give up on it. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater is what I heard. If there was an issue, you can get through it. Ooh. All right, let's see what we get with the romance angels. Okay, that didn't want to shuffle. So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It doesn't always have to be somebody from the past. It could be a current situation, but you're healing something that happened before. It could have been a month ago. So I feel like you're going to reconcile and figure things out. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Makes perfect sense. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You may need to take a step back just to breathe. And figure things out. Doesn't mean it's not going to work out. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So, I mean, that laid out perfectly. I can't say it any better than that. Okay. Let's see if there's any other messages that we need to know about. You can trust this person. You don't have to worry about things. They don't want to argue and fight. They're not really interested in the battle. They... No matter what they keep an eye, you're like the eye, the eye, um, how do I want to phrase this? You're the one that they have their eye on, nobody else. And then the four of swords, they overthink things. Sometimes they may not say exactly what's on their mind, but they're definitely in their head about it a lot. Right. Oh, that, well, some of you may feel this way, depending on your perception of twin flames what you feel about it, your passion ignites, you could feel like this is a twin flame connection. All right, let's see what other cards we get. I feel the shuffle. Okay, this one felt right. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. There you go. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I think that's really important. Because I do get a sense that there's some frustration and resentment, whether it's on your part of the person's. It just feels like that has to be released in order for these things to work themselves out. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Perfect. So there is a new beginning in this situation. Okay, let's see what we get to close this out. I just saw the soulmate card with the two little penguins. Very cute. Okay, so no place like home, 
something could be popping up for you in November around your home. You could be 50, born on the 5th of the month. I feel like this is a... I thought that said peace. Sorry, I just got stopped for a second. I feel like this could be just wanting to be safe and feel comfortable in your home. And that's the one place that you like things to be calm. So for a lot of people, it doesn't matter. For some people, it's their everything. And I feel like this particular month, your home is going to be your safe space. Come to the edge. You could be 36, born on the 3rd, 6th, or the 9th of the month. This is really about just taking a chance, just like the full card says right here. And I think you're ready. I think you're ready to dive in and really take this seriously and release whatever it was that might have been holding you back. And then you go to a 10. So you go from a 9 to a 10. You could be born on the 10th or the 1st of the month. Something needs to be resolved. Unfinished symphony. It doesn't always come through to me as this, but I do feel like this is something that's unfinished. And I think you feel that as, as well. And then we have message in a bottle. So something's got to come along. Some message is going to make itself clear to you. Um, it's going to make more sense to you. Maybe one that you got before. I think you're going to interpret it differently. For some reason that's popping up. You could be born on the 5th, 1st, 6th, or 15th of the month. So just be aware that whatever this message is that comes in for you is going to be really important. And you should focus on paying attention to the meaning behind that message. All right, my loves, those were your messages. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. And if you would like a personal, as I mentioned before, it's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month. I think it's going to be a really good one for you. I love you all so much and I'll see you.